Welcome back to the Free Game Show here. I'm joined by catcher Tomas Talese. And uh, Tomas, um, you know, it's been a good start to the season for you. Got a big hit last night. The Riders fell 4-2, uh, to two, but you had that hit in the ninth that made it a 4-2 to two game almost coming back. Um, when you were up there, what were you looking for from the pitcher that had just come in? So first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity. And yes, I'm looking for, for the fastball, you know. Uh, I was struggling at the right now and just I take a break and I looking for for the fast he threw me in the first pitch slider but after that he threw me fastball fastball down and away and that's that's I looking for that's when I hit the ball pretty good to to middle of the first and uh, you did get that line drive single, uh, made it 4-2. to two. Unfortunately, guys didn't win, but you did get to bat uh, left-handed in that at bat. They had the, the left-hander in the game, um, but then they brought in the right-handed pitcher. Um, are you more comfortable from the left side? Yeah, I, I, I feel more comfortable uh, left side because when I was key, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a natural uh, right-handed ball. When I was key, I saw my, my brother uh, hitting left, left side. A uh, couple couple days ago, I I, I put on left uh, left side, and that's when I uh, that's when I hit left side always. Uh, and when I was big big bigger, I put in right hander again, and that's when I well I feel more comfortable left side. When did you start hitting right handed again? How old how old were you? I, like when I was 14 years old. Yeah. And another change to, to your, your playing, uh, you know, as far as baseball goes, um, not just becoming a switch hitter that late, you know, at 14, but you switched to catcher as well. Um, what positions did you play before? Before, before my sign, I played always shortstop, second base, and third base, all, all, all infield position. Okay, so you play the infield, and, and when did you switch to catcher? They, they, switched, they switched my catcher after, right after sign. You know, I went to instructional in, in Arizona, and, and the Scott Selby, he gave me the the catcher. Me, he said, "Hey, you are catcher now, and you wanna be practice, and you wanna go to the Dominican Summer League for for learn uh, how you catch, how how the diff." What was the hardest thing about learning how to catch? You know, what what did you not anticipate um, about catching that's been hard for you? For me, the you know blocking. Yeah. I throw me the before I throw at the balls in the dead, and I never, I never blocking. Just throw, throw my 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 mate to, to the ball, but never never blocking. And receiving too, yeah. But I learn a lot. You know, Hector Ortiz he learned me a lot, a lot blocking, extra work, uh, receiving. I'm here with catcher Tomas Talis here on the pregame show. And uh, Tomas, you, ha you had the chance to learn from a pretty famous catcher this spring, um, uh, Pudge Rodriguez, um, who just joined the Rangers as a special assistant. Um, you had a chance actually to work with him on your catching in the spring. What, what was he able to impart to you? What was he able to teach you? Yeah, I, I, I meet uh, Pudge Rodriguez in, in Dominican and in, in spring training. Yeah, he's a good person. He... he he learned me like uh, how you how you gonna be catching, how you how you gonna call the game, and he say you gonna be captain of the game. It, a lot of things he 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 give me a lot of things. You know. How did what did he help you with your receiving? Uh, he he talking about receive like always always see the ball. I always see the ball on the, the after, glove. yeah, after, after after the glove. Tomas, you had the chance to, to catch that 17 inning game last week against uh, the Corpus Christi team. What was that like? <laughs> Have you ever caught a game that long before? No, I, my first time I I I, I called 17 inning. That's my oof. <laughs> That's good experience, but it's it's hard. I feel my in the last inning I feel my my legs so heavy. But you know the best thing we, we won last, last last this this night. Were you more tired physically with your legs or your 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 brain mentally? Yeah, yeah, more more tired physically. 
So that's a pretty challenging thing you had to do. Um, you, one of the pitchers on the staff, Ryan Fearbin, he throws a knuckleball. Have you had the chance to catch that one yet? Yeah. <laughs> he don't throw. He don't throw too too too, too much in the in the season ball. In his, his spring training, he throw me like two times knuckleball, and wow. Is that the hardest pitch you, you've ever had to catch? Yeah, it's the hard pitch for catch. Hey, the a lot movement, I love when I close my eyes, but <laughs> the, the hit is swinging. He say, foul, foul, foul. So would you rather catch 17 innings again or have to catch a knuckleballer for a whole game? No, I want to catch 17 innings again, not, not snookable. <laughs> right, well, thanks a lot for your time, Tomas. Good luck here the rest of the way off to a great start. Thank you, thank you.